princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Wish Trend Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Advanced Serum. This serum was kindly sent to me for a review by Wish Trend, and after the success I had with the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop, I was really eager to try this one out. The product description says, Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Advanced Serum for the nourishment that your skin deserves. The new and improved formula has been designed with less ingredients for more effect. Made with simpler ingredients derived from Mother Earth, the Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Advanced Serum has been created with a sheer 21.5% of Pure Vitamin C for the maximum nourishment. Just for you, we increase the level of Vitamin C and hydration while lowering the stickiness and ingredients for healthier Pure Formula to replenish moisture while restoring suppleness to the skin. Rejuvenate and nourish with the new and improved all-natural upgraded formula to restore balance and moisture to your skin today. This serum comes in a sealed bottle with a sealed dropper top. This means that there should be no leakage from the bottle during transit. The bottle itself is thick, dark glass. This protects the serum from some sunlight, but it still needs to be stored correctly to keep the serum clear in colour. Once it darkens to yellow or amber, the serum will not be as effective. The serum is very thin in texture and smells a little bit like oranges. It is easy to apply and absorbs very quickly, leaving a sticky finish. I find that this leaves a sticky finish on my skin no matter if I use 2 or 8 drops. I don't feel like I need to rinse off my face and it doesn't turn my skin orange either, which is nice. One thing about using this serum is that you have to apply your sunscreen really regularly because it makes your skin very sun sensitive. I accidentally sat with about half of my face in the sun one time while I was eating lunch downstairs and I actually got a mild sunburn so that was both stupid and unfortunate. But if you are a regular sunscreen applier anyway, then this shouldn't really bother you. Unfortunately with the serum, since I've only been trying it for a month, I cannot see any results yet. A lot of the hyperpigmentation and scarring on my face had already been reduced greatly by using the Claire's Serum. So all of the lighter scars have already gone from my skin, so it's a bit harder for the vitamin C to get down to the deeper ones. The main scar that I really want to fade is the one above my upper lip, and I got that I think like a couple of years ago, and it's probably the darkest and most obvious scars, even though I have concealer on it. At the moment, you can still totally see it. It's like a weird little mole or a freckle, but it's actually like a very purple scar. I'm really hoping that the serum is going to reduce that scarring, but I will have to wait and see. It's really hard to judge the effects of an anti-aging skincare because its job is to stop you from showing signs of age but if I'm not reversing age then it's really hard to judge if it's actually doing anything. But I do have faith that it is doing something. It certainly makes my skin feel a lot smoother and nicer, so I'm going to keep continuing using the bottle. I really love that this is fairly inexpensive at about 25 US dollars. It exfoliates my skin gently, but well, and it brightens up my skin very subtly. I don't love that there are no very immediate or fun results to show you guys. I would love to rave about how much I love this vitamin C product, but in reality, after a month, I haven't really noticed any visible signs of improvement in my skin. I have purchased a low pH toner to prep my skin better for this serum and it is on the way to me now so I will update you guys if that helps out a lot. But since I do wait a good amount of time after cleansing my skin with a low pH cleanser and before using this serum, I did think that I would see some sort of results by now. I know I'm not the only one to see very little results from using the serum, but I know that there are a lot of people out there that really love the serum and repurchase it religiously. So I'll keep using the little bottle in hopes that it does a little bit more for my skin, perhaps with the proper toner. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you next time.